We've got here one of the coolest 66 Impalas, I think, on the planet. This thing has 25 factory options. 327, four-speed air, telescopic wheel. The list goes on and on. I'll tell you all about it. That top is down. Why don't you join me? Let's go for a spin. You can go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the information. Take your time to look at over 100 pictures. That's also where you'll find a price tag on every car, along with an easy monthly payment. So the car is beautiful. The body is excellent. All 18 feet of it is straight. This is absolutely straight. That hood fits square and flush. I don't see any damage or ripples. The fender is excellent. All clean and smooth at the bottom. The gaps are right. This is all spot on. Let's see how she closes. Nice. All clean quarter panels, all nice. This is all fantastic. You have this, the hairline, hairline, little stress crack right there. They all get it, all the convertibles. This is excellent. And the gaps are spot on. I think there was a Lexus commercial where they had the marble rolling along the gaps. It reminds me of this. Uh, anyway, all straight, clean, no rust, no damage. All real nice, clean body here. Yeah, body's excellent. So according to the tag, this was born tuxedo black. The paint is beautiful. It's polished like glass. Uh, somebody else just walked in right before we started, and he said, wow, that's a knockout. Few imperfections I noticed. The paint's lifted a little bit right here. I think there's a chip touched up right there. So a couple minor imperfections if you look for them, but all anyone's going to see when they walk up on it is a stunning black paint job. There's a little, little imperfection right there. All the trim is sparkling. You have the cross flag emblems, the bumpers with the optional bumper guards. They even put the T3, the correct reproduction headlamps. So the grill has optional body side moldings, correct antennas sparkling, bow tie mirror on both sides. This one would be optional. All the trim is nice. It's all straight. It has the metal door edge guards. That's a factory option. Back here, the bumper tail lights, bumper guards. All this is sparkling and beautiful. Has a power top. It's a black convertible top in excellent shape. Uh, sitting on some 15 by 7 rally wheels. They look like they're new. Uh, it has the small derby caps. Now, these are wide oval uh, redline tires, reproductions, but they have the new radial technology, but they look like the originals. So great tires and wheels. I think that redline really gives it uh, some pop against the triple black combination. So we're going to open it up. I got a lot more to show you. All right, so I've pointed out seven options on the outside of the car. We got a lot more to go still, but see if you can keep track. Uh, inside the trunk is really nice. Look how it's all painted real slick. Has the decal, has the optional lamp group, working trunk light. Jams nice. Inside's all solid, spatter painted. Uh, it has a new well liner, matte weather strip. Rally wheel with the tire, it's never been used for a spare. It's got the jack assembly. We also have a buy it now button on our website on every car. If there's something you really like, you click that button and just get it locked in for yourself before someone beats you to it. So the door jams are clean. The weather strips are replaced. That one looks like it got a little twisted up there. Uh, door panels in mint condition, including the armrests. I see power window switches. That's an option. Beautiful dash area. All nice and clean. The metal, the trim, the vents, all real nice. Padded dash, that's an option. The tachometer, factory option. AM FM stereo, it plays beautifully. That's an option. Dash mounted clock. There's another option as a quartz movement. Uh, part of the lamp group has a working light in the glove box here. Has the uh, glove box pouch with all the information. 
And again, all this is just nice and clean. Part of the stereo is factory kick panel speakers. That's the way they would have been. Nice new carpet, uh, reproduction floor mats, another option. The correct four speed for a bench seat, the reverse lockout. Uh, so that's really cool to have a four speed in a convertible like this. Is this bucket seats or bench? This is called a strato bench seat. It's pretty much two buckets connected at the bottom, so you can throw three people in here. But it gives you a nice armrest. I would take this over bucket seats any day. So this is an option. Deluxe seat belts. Seat belts weren't even standard in 1966. The back of the seat, all the trim, everywhere you look, it's just super nice and tidy. You got the floor mats in back, seat belts, all the upholstery, the armrests, all that's in excellent shape. But we're not done with the options quite yet in here. This is a telescopic tilt wheel. That is rare. That's just cool. And it tilts. That's just something you don't see. And one more under here, I almost forgot. Uh, hazard lights. That was an option back in the day, too. And then this bench seat I was telling you about, look down here, way down there, power seat, power six-way seat. And then the visors, you got a vanity mirror. That's another option. I don't know if you're counting, I lost count. And everything is tidy. And Caleb's about to take you for a test drive in a couple minutes, and he's going to demonstrate just how nice it functions, too. Yeah, those red lines and rally wheels, those were part of the options. So this is a period correct 327 motor, and it's done to the L79 uh, 350 horsepower spec. So it has the double hump heads, the aluminum factory high rise with a dual feed Holly carb. The L79 came with the chrome dual snorkel air cleaner, chrome valve covers, has the 350 horse decals. So everything's nice and clean, the raw fiberglass box. It's a factory air car, but it's been upgraded. Uh, it has a newer compressor, it's getting more efficient, it has the R134 Freon, cold air conditioning. Air conditioned convertible with a four speed, that was like unheard of back then. Spring clamp battery cables, cooling systems all proper, the correct Harrison radiator, the right clutch fan, the shroud, all looks good and proper. Got power steering, <clears throat> upgraded power brakes. It would have been a single reservoir in 66. This is a dual, a lot safer, cadmium plated booster. Uh, all of the inside of the engine bay is all nice and clean, has hood insulation, squirters are hooked up, and the uh, cowl tag on the cowl there actually gives you the options. It tells us it was born a four-speed uh, black convertible with the stereo, and uh, a few of the other options are on that tag. So why don't you go for a, a drive and come back and see me in a minute. See how she drives. Something about a four speed with a V8 and a big body Chevelle makes you feel like a badass. And I'll tell you what, this is a quality restoration. This thing just feels very, very solid. It's almost like if driving a modern car. Uh, power steering is effortless. The brakes are real nice. Shifting through the gears. It's not even making any noises. Smooth as butter. Uh, what else do you want, really? We got the top down. It is a nice day. Uh, the power top works very nicely. Uh, it goes down fairly quickly. All the windows are working. Those are power as well. So this thing's loaded. Brakes are nice on it. Turn signal lights up. Let's see if it cancels. Let's see what she does.
zero to 60, just like that. This thing's gliding, floating over the bumps, guys. There's no rattles or shakes, no vibrations. Uh, this is a very nice car. The clock is working, the tack works, the, the gauges all work, the gas gauge is working. Let's see about the wipers. The wipers are functional and they suck back. Check this out, even the radio. Even the radio works. Like it's like nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. sure you want it's got a upgraded speakers throughout it, so it actually has a good sound system in it. Nothing's rattling or shaking loose. Everything's nice and tight as it should be. Seats are super comfortable. Love a good bench seat with the armrest. It just feels very natural to drive. So now I want to tell you about underneath the car. It's completely rock solid, clean, painted, tidy. Front end has several components that look new, uh, bushings and ball joints and that sort of thing. New shocks in back, has an added sway bar, has the original pan hard bar. Great sounding dual exhaust with a crossover pipe and Flowmaster mufflers. Along with the power brake upgrade, it is a disc brake upgrade. They didn't have disc brakes on these yet. Uh, well, this one has it, and that all looks new. E-brake cables are still hooked up. The gas tank's not brand new, but it does look like it was replaced. You look up at the mower, nice, clean, Chevy orange oil pan. The correct starter's clean. as the canister-type screw-on oil filter the way it came. According to the tag, it actually tells us this car was born with an M20 Muncie 4-speed. Uh, they didn't have actual VIN number matching on the transmissions in 66. Uh, it is a correct uh, Muncie, and all looks nice and clean. 10-bolt uh, rear end in the back. So this is a special Impala. You can't compare this to a 283 automatic. I mean, this has got it all going on. It's like all the good things rolled up into one. Awesome car. Go to volocars.com. Salesmen can help answer your questions, including how to get this delivered to your door, how to get it financed. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new videos are posted. Thanks for watching.